Hello, I'm going to show you how to enable real-time traffic anomaly detection on a domain you have within DNS Made Easy. You will first want to visit analytics.dnsmadeeasy.com and you will then log in with your DNS Made Easy security credentials. If you do have multi-factor authentication, you do want to make sure that you do have that also chosen at this point and enter in those necessary credentials. Once you are logged in, you will be presented with the analytics application we do show within DNS Made Easy. I'll do a quick review of that here. You'll see the top domains you have receiving your traffic and it also will chart them at the bottom. You can then go into side, inside of each of your domains and you can actually view the traffic they're coming from from each individual pop, point of presence or city we have that is distributing your data. From within inside here, you can then turn on your logging and go within each one and actually view the logs and view your traffic coming over in real time listening to the wire. And you can actually get the raw data, you can view the data being mapped, um, showing where it's coming from. Uh, we also have distribution clients and actually see where the sources are coming from, the EDNS client, the different IP versions, record types, etc. But this gives you a good logistics view and an analytical view of where your data is coming from so you can actually then do any troubleshooting you might need to based upon the real-time traffic anomaly detection. But let's go back to the main analytics page. And you will notice this column right here that we're focused on is under the anomaly. So I will click on the plus sign. And by clicking on the plus sign, it automatically gets down to uh, the list of all my domains in there. And I can say I want to turn it on and I want to choose how I want it aggregated by. I'm going to say aggregate by world. I get aggregate by region or aggregate by city. And what this means is how we're going to know, um, we're going to detect your anomalies, right? Most of our users were suggesting you use by the world. And if you have many, many billions and billions of queries, you can then break that down to more regional aggregations or per pop aggregations, per city aggregations. But most of our users we want it aggregated at the world. You choose aggregate to world and you then do save. And then that's it. This is automatically now going to start doing fits for you uh, at a timed interval and notifying you when you do have any anomalies. What we're first going to want to do is go to the contacts tab and we want to set up uh, a group that you'd want to be notified. So I'm going to create a group here. I'm going to say add group. I'm going to modify this and I'm gonna call this my DevOps group. And make sure if you put any spaces in here, um, certain characters are not allowed. So spaces are not allowed, um, some special characters are, and it does give you all those error messages. Put enter, then I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna add a certain email address. So I'll do steve at uh, example.com. Once again, you do wanna put your real email address in here. Do not put my example email addresses in here. Uh, many times people will actually copy exactly what I do in a demo and that they don't ever receive the email. So make sure you do put your own email address. Same thing, uh, you hit enter and you push save and that's now a, a contact that's part of my contact group. And right here, I can choose which domains I want to um, have the anomaly, this group being notified from. So I could put in uh, the one site that I have and I could put in a bunch of other demos uh, sites as well. And so if I ever turn on anomaly detection or disable anomaly detection, I'm notified at that same point because we do send you an email when anomaly detection is turned on and we send you an email when anomaly detection is turned off. And we also send you an email when there is an anomaly detected. And that's the reason why you can choose multiple domains over there. And you click on save. And now that's live. Um, so the, the group DevOps is going to be notified based upon any of the actions or from anomaly detection is turned on for these domain names. I go back to manage, you can see which domains I have turned on, and I go to visualize, I can actually see if there was a fit and, and the anomaly that's being um, brought into the system. So really that's it, that's how easy it is, and it turns anomaly detection on for your domain name, you can turn it on, you can turn it off. Within DNS Mean Easy, you are given certain quotas, and those quotas are pre-purchased for your account. So this will tell you right here that my anomalies detected are zero, my scheduled services is one, and I'm currently, I've used zero of my 1,500 anomaly detections we do throughout the month. And that's scheduled based upon, the, for my account, I have one anomaly detected every half hour, uh, anomaly detection scheduled every half hour at the world level. If you do a region level, you have a much larger quota, and a per pop level, obviously, you have a much larger quota. And so we're fitting this traffic. So really, that's it. Um, that's all you need to do to schedule your domain to have real-time traffic anomaly detection. If you have any other questions, please let us know. What I want to do is show you real quickly, if you do care to, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you actually do get an anomaly. And I have that under my Constellix account, uh, which is the exact same really service 
uh, when it comes to real-time anomaly detection. And what we're going to do there is look at a, a possible domain that has, you can tell these, when you have anomaly detected, it has the graphs. So I'm going to click on the graph and then we're going to find a domain that actually shows an anomaly detection just so it gives you a little more information. Uh, so server.us doesn't have any, let's look at this one and see if it does, it does. So what then over here we did anomaly at uh, the region level and you can tell if I actually go down to the individual regions, if I go into North America East, you can see what an anomaly looks like. And you can tell if I put my mouse over here, how many queries I actually received, how many I actually, uh, what the upper bound limit was, and then what, it, what I reached. Uh, let me try to find one at a higher level here. And this, this is an anomaly detection at the world level, and you can tell at this level, um, uh, so my, actual, my, my upper actual level was 50, my upper limit was 52, and I actually received 54, so exceeded that level. Uh, and the same thing right here. I was supposed to receive about 59 queries, but I actually received about 74. So these are obviously test domains. Yours would have much higher amounts of traffic um, that you're going to be doing anomaly detection on. But this will show you how you troubleshoot it. You would then take your domain, and then you would go into uh, your actual uh, logging and analytics tools, where then you can actually see your traffic in real time to help troubleshoot that. Once again, you go in there, and you go to your individual pop that's receiving the anomaly that you care about, and you can just listen to it off the wire. And then as you're listening to it off the wire, you can help troubleshoot exactly what's going on with your domain and what be, what be causing you, what is causing you that anomaly detection. Um, right here, I'm doing the map view, and this is gonna see the individual queries coming up, and I can then to my individual dashboard tools to listen to the queries in real time. So once again, if you have any questions with that, please let us know. We are available at https colon slash slash support.dnsmadeeasy.com. Once again, it's https colon slash slash support.dnsmadeeasy.com. Thank you very much. We look forward to talking with you.